Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I have my new baby here with me. His name's Drogon. He actually was, this video is not about him, but he was actually imported here from Hong Kong not too long ago. So I'm just kind of getting him used to everything. He's really, really chill and has like been the sweetest boy. He like loves chilling on my shoulder. He like fell asleep on my shoulder last time actually. So just getting him used to my voice and everything. But anyways, this video is gonna be actually about Katana and her, I mean, I mean like our puppy experience so far. I don't even know what to call this video. Um, I guess it's kind of like a little vlog slash what we've been doing with the puppies and like kind of like a little check-in. They were born on April 5th and today's April 18th. And yeah, they're, I mean, do the math, only a couple days old now, over 10 days old. And they are growing so freaking fast. Like honestly, I didn't think, I mean, I knew puppies grew fast, but baby puppies, neonate puppies literally grow so quickly. And I didn't think that it was gonna be from like this big to like this, this big in like only a couple of days. So it is a very, very fast growth. I'm trying to document as much as I can of it. So I've been trying to take as many pictures and videos of them as much as possible just for their new owners to have and for me to have too, because these are like memories, obviously. So I'm trying to document every little thing, but this little video today is just gonna be like a vlog of everything, um, kind of like my daily routine with the puppies. Um, so it's more geared towards the puppies. If that sounds interesting to you guys, please keep on watching. Good morning, here are the puppies. This is what the bed looks like the very next morning. So obviously I changed it yesterday. The welding box was very clean, but overnight they obviously make a big mess. So we're gonna clean out the box. I do this every single morning. I have their new bedding right here for everything. We're gonna wash these laundry i have some stuff in there as well and yeah so overnight the heat lamp in my opinion gets just way too hot because we do live in a warmer area so they get the heat mat on high just overnight because it gets really really kind of cold but not cold enough for the heat mat so here are the puppies <laughs> they're getting so freaking big i can't believe it it's already been a little over a week and they're like giant little potatoes now. They still, I think by this, by the time this video comes out, they will have names. I'm just waiting for them to get old enough where I can like see their personalities to match them with the name. So hopefully by the time this video is out, they'll already have official names, but we asked you guys for some ideas. So, and you guys gave some great ones. So we will definitely take those into consideration. But yeah, let's go ahead and clean out the mat. They're so freaking cute. At this stage right now, they're still very helpless. So they're still drinking milk every two to three hours. Um, mom lets them nurse obviously as much, or Katana lets them nurse as much as they want. And their eyes have actually started to open. I wish I vlogged you know, more of their development stages, but I'll start vlogging from here on out to show you guys what we're doing. But their eyes are actually open now. <laughs> so cute. Um, they're sleeping, so I don't want to wake them up. But the red one seems to be the chonkiest. She's the biggest girl. The blue one, she's the one in the middle. And the no collar is the smallest girl, but they're all super sweet, obviously. They're so cute. They smell like little, little babies. Red one's very aggressive when it comes to getting milk from Katana. The blue one is, we're already kind of like seeing their personalities because there's only three of them, so it's very easy to track. Um, the blue one seems to be more of the crybaby. And the no collar girl is just, she's just so chill like very chill dog already. <laughs> she sleeps through everything. She loves like getting her tummy. <laughs> she likes getting her tummy pet. Let's go ahead and clean out this box. I will do a little fast forward video of me cleaning it. So let's get to it. Now that the whelping box is all nice and clean, we're gonna let Katana back in. So let me go bring her in right now. Hi, oh, Mama. Draco, <laughs> stay. All nice and clean. 
So usually I just let her out in the backyard while I clean her area so she can use the restroom and relax a little bit. Why is her face all dirty? She is such a good mom. She does not let Draco near the box, obviously. I wouldn't want him near here anyways. She's been very, I don't know, I guess like as for changes in temperament, a lot of people were asking if she's changed at all and honestly, not really. The only thing is she's been a little bit more alert compared to normal. She'll bark at a lot more things now, but that's about it. Other than that, she's been very, very good. But energy level and everything like that, it's been pretty much the same. I mean, we're not doing as much intense exercise with her as we were before, but we're doing a lot more like light walks and stuff like that. And she's been pretty chill and her appetite. I mean, I was doing a lot of reading and also the vet told us that her appetite might decrease a little bit. She might not want to eat as much, but honestly, she's been eating the same amount. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and wash the dirty laundry and then feed them or feed her and Draco and the rest of the pups. And a lot of people were wondering where Pablo was during these days or first two weeks. Um, he's actually at my mom's because I don't want him to be all up in the puppy's business um, or Katana's business and then Katana snap at him because he literally does not know any social verbal, not verbal, but any, oh, he's, she's letting them go pee pee. Um, he does not know any like cues of like when to stop. So he is always up in everyone's business and he's pretty much like a little menace. So what she did was she just licked their bottoms. If you guys didn't know, they obviously have to be stimulated um, to use the restroom. So what Katana does or what Mama does is she's licking their bosoms so she can stimulate them to go pee pee and poop. And they each have their own nipples. So what's great about having like a smaller litter, I mean, three is obviously super small, but I mean, they each get their own individualized care and we can watch them grow and like maintain every little thing about them, which is great. We also make sure every morning, see, she's like alert because Draco's outside. We eat, um, also make sure that every nipple is milking normally. It's okay, Mama. It's okay, I'll let him back in. Come on, Draco. As I was saying, she just makes sure, like she ensures that they each get their own care and attention, which is amazing. All right, so a little pup date of, or update of the box that we have going on for all their supplies. We actually also have this, which is like literally like emergency stuff, like towels, cleaning, <laughs> cleaning stuff, all that, all that, all those things. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. But anyways, in here is what we use pretty much almost daily. Um, I'm not using this medical tape anymore, so they actually had their tails docked at the vet, so we were bandaging them, but seems to us that they don't need to be bandaged anymore so the because the vet actually prescribed us some antibiotics for the tail so we've been putting on this ointment <clears throat> twice a day for the tails we've also been wiping their butts with this as well which is just like antibiotic wipes uh, prescribed from the vet the ointment and then they also been getting it's in the fridge so i don't want to get it but they've also been getting oral antibiotics so their tails don't become infected because, you know, they obviously poop or mom Katana will lick the tail and then it's an open wound. So um, we don't want the poop and stuff to get all nasty. So we've been doing the antibiotics and it's been healing up pretty much perfectly normal. Um, scissors was because of that. They also have been getting their um, probiotic stuff, which is great. No diarrhea with this stuff. A lot of the breeders were telling me that the puppies might get diarrhea or they well, also the vet told us that the puppies will get diarrhea because of the antibiotics. But ever since giving like um, supplementing with some of this healthy probiotic stuff, they've been not getting any diarrhea or constipation, which is lovely. And this is just their syringe for the oral antibiotics. And this is something we use for ENS training. I will demonstrate to you guys what that will look like later on in the video. I'll, I'll have to do it tonight with my boyfriend so he can record me. So yeah, that's pretty much it for their little box. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I do weigh them every morning. I already did it this morning because I didn't think I was going to film today for some reason. But they are already weighed this morning, so I'll probably weigh them. I'm weighing them less and less. We don't need to weigh them daily or as often anymore. Um, so we usually do it every other day and they're all gaining, you know, healthy weight and the weight that they're supposed to. They're pretty much almost like doubling, if not getting bigger by the day, by the minute. So they're honestly getting so freaking big and it's actually kind of crazy how big they get in such a small amount of time. So yeah, 
Here's mom giving him a bath. Let's go ahead and wash, bring this upstairs to the wash so we can clean off the beds and the mats. So my friend already helped me out a little bit, which is very nice of him. This was from yesterday, so we're gonna throw our dirty laundry from yesterday. And if you guys are wondering what this stuff is, it's the stuff from the welding box, obviously, but this one in like in particular is anti-slip bottom, and then on the top it's just super absorbable. So it just fits perfectly in our welding box. And then this one here, it's just a cheap mat that I bought. It's a dog mat that I bought from Home Goods. It's very, very thin and it's um, it's not anti-slip, but it is like grippy so the puppies can grip it while they're nursing on Katana. And I usually just throw it in here, call it a day. So we've been actually doing laundry every single day, which is just lovely, but um, yeah, so the laundry has to be done, obviously. So we, I do the bedding. I also put it on cold, because sometimes there's stains. And we're gonna just start that up. All right, so time to feed all of the dogs, but and specifically, we're gonna feed Katana. I wanted to film what I'm feeding her. She is currently on puppy kibble right now from Farmina. This stuff is so fucking expensive, but it's okay, it's worth it. So she gets three cups of kibble in the morning. She also gets lunch and dinner, so she gets three meals a day. So I already put in, I need to put in two scoops. So I have to get Draco's two, so I'm gonna just finish getting their scoops. One second. All right, so I got their bowls ready. So Wolf is actually getting carnivore, which is also really high quality, expensive ass kibble. Whatever, dogs are spoiled, obviously. Uh, where's Draco? So Draco is getting Victor High Pro Plus, but we're gonna focus on Katana's, obviously, because it's her video. So she's getting the um, Farmina puppy food. We're also doing, I'm just gonna do this as I go. One second, I'm gonna grab everything. Okay, so here's everything. So I always start off with the same thing for everyone. Bernie's Perfect Poop, this stuff is godsend. If you don't know what it is, check out the link in my bio. No more felt smelly farts, like solid poops all the time. So all the dogs get this. So everyone's gonna be getting two scoops of this stuff. It's like amazing. Every single person that I put this, like, like tell people about and they buy it, they're like, oh my God, this stuff changed my life. Definitely, this is like not even a sponsored video, but like get, get this for your dog, it's fucking amazing. Okay, next up, Katana's gonna be getting some Oxymama. It's a prenatal vitamin. It's pretty much, uh, I'll just read the ingredients to you guys. It's pork, beef, and liver, and then it's in like a natural casing, and then vitamin E, cottonseed meal, seed powder, fennel seed powder, motherwort, motherwort herb powder. It supports lactation and recovery with multivitamins, herbs, and essential amino acids. She loves this stuff, it's amazing. It honestly, it looks like a dog treat. Is it gonna focus? I don't know. It's like these like little meat stick things, and she loves them. So she gets two every morning. Next up, we're gonna be giving some green lip muscle powder. This stuff is also amazing and it lasts forever. They're also going to be getting their muscle builder. It has added taurine. I like giving us pseudo rings or just dogs that have heart issues. So taurine's great. You just get a scoop of this. We are gonna be going in with some goat milk kefir. Every single time I say kefir, I think that's how you say it. Online, people like judge me for it, and I, I swear to God, if you Google it, that's like how you say it. I'm just gonna Google it. It's kefir, kefir, right? Or something like that? I don't know, fuck it. So I just shake this up. Katana's gonna get a little bit more than everyone else. I just wanted some Trader Joe's. It's pretty much just plain and unsweetened uh, goat's milk. All right, ultra oil, another holy grail. I like fucking, this stuff is, God sent as well. I have a gallon of it because like we literally use so much of it, I have to get a gallon. So they just get three pumps of this. Next up, last but not least, we're not going to go crazy with the raw feeding today. So we're just going to be giving some Steve's real food. It is actually fortified with goat's milk already as well, which is really nice. And it comes in like these little, um, I'll show you guys, this lovely little meat nugget shaped and they absolutely love it. So we're just gonna give them a couple pieces. And this 
in particular. I'll just read like the first couple ingredients. Ground beef, beef liver, beef kidney, broccoli, beef bone, carrots, apples, romaine, lettuce, goat's milk, coconut oil, sesame seed, salmon oil, flaxseed, dried kelp, taurine, green lip mussels, and ground eggshell. That's it. That's literally it. It's everything on the back of this bag, like you know what it is. Okay, and then to hydrate their kibble, we're gonna be going in with the native pet beef bone broth. So they all get this as well. And how I make this is I just, I have like a spoon. I just scoop a little bit. I honestly like this one a little bit better than, or a lot better than the other one I've been using. I forgot what brand it was. I'll insert a picture of it. But I like it better just because there's just so much more like in here compared to the other one. And it's just like more worth it. And the dogs seem to like it better too. So I just put some in here and we're just gonna mix some warm water. That's pretty much it. Okay, so we have hot water in here with the powder. It just looks like this. And they have like this mixy stir thing. So we're just gonna stir it up for them. And then I'm just gonna pour it into their bowls. And then another one of my pet peeves is like, I always mix my dog's food. Like for some reason I see a lot of feeding videos, especially on TikTok or just anywhere. And no one like mixes up the food. And then if I don't mix the food, my dogs are just gonna pick at every little thing. So yeah, I'm gonna mix it. I always mix it. <laughs> Cause I feel like if I like left it separated like that, they're just gonna like eat all of like the raw food at once and not eat the kibble. So that's why I mix the food. All right. That is breakfast. Let's go ahead and feed them. All right, this is what the bowls look like. This one is Katana's, this is Draco's, and then this is Wolf's. Girl Katana. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna be doing ENS for the puppies. So we're just gonna do one at a time and I'll walk you guys through that process. So. I'm just gonna grab a pup. We do what, three seconds. <laughs> we do three seconds head up, three to five seconds. And then we're gonna place them in between our legs here on their back for three to five seconds. And while she's like this, I'm just gonna get our little bristle brush here and play with her paws a little bit, just for a couple seconds each. <laughs> she's so cute. All right, so we're just gonna tickle her a little bit and then we'll lift her back up. <laughs> and then last but not least, we're gonna flip her on her back all the way down just for a little bit. All right, and then we do the cold compress, which is the last part. I just wet this towel here. It's just a little bit wet and we're just gonna leave her on it for a couple of seconds. And that's pretty much it. So we actually do this for all the puppies since it is just the beginning phases. We do it for all the puppies until they're about 16 days old. Thank you guys so much for watching our video today. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing all the puppies grow. Like I said, I'm gonna try to be documenting as much as I can with them and like their growth and what we end up doing as if like training wise and what we're doing here like here at the house to prepare them for their new homes. Um, puppy applications, I know a lot of people were asking us about that and how it's gonna be working. So we were supposed to have a website up and ready um however it's just taking longer than i expected there's a lot of delays with like our website designer and everything so to make things and to speed up the process of things i just actually made a google form for the puppy application it's like it's formal but informal at the same time 
So I guess the way the process will go that we have implemented that is probably going to work best is there will be an open application. Anyone can apply. That sounds like really bad, but pretty much anyone can apply. It's a questionnaire. I don't know how many questions there are there. It's pretty in depth. Um, it goes, you know, it talks about your contact information, where you live, all the way down to how many pets you own, you know, the basic puppy application stuff to also questions about um, how the puppy will be raised, who's home, all that good stuff. So I will be putting the application up for the public um, so you guys people that are in, I know a lot of people are interested in the puppies um, however we obviously want to match them to the best homes so this is not a first come first serve type deal after the application let's say you do get approved and we deem you guys as a good fit we will then move late to the later stages of the application so an online application isn't the end of it. Um, there's gonna be a lot more than that. Oh God, he's moving. There's gonna be a lot more than that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I will be, like I said, uh, making more content around the puppies because I know a lot of people are interested in that and kind of how like raising puppies, Doberman puppies is, or is gonna be going. So I will be trying to post as much content as I can. However, I don't wanna focus all my content just like on a bunch of puppy stuff but we'll see. <laughs> I'll try to post other content as well. Maybe make a video about our new friend here. Let me try to grab him. Maybe make a video on him. It is so not focusing. There he is. <laughs> but maybe I'll make a video on him and like his enclosure and everything and what we've been doing with him. He's so freaking sweet. I love him so much already, but this video is not about him. It's about puppies. I'll put him away. But yes, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and can't wait to see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, of course. I really enjoy making content for you guys, so it definitely helps me out. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.